thank you for joining me. I am the Fuzz. And it's time for episode 3 of Is It OP? We're moving right along in the corruption aspect. Our next target is our good buddy, Consume Spirit. So Consume Spirit is one of those cards that gets stronger the more you invest into a specific aspect. Very much like the Word of Something cards. And so this one in particular, let's take a look, right? If you play it with just one aspect, it's kind of whatever. You know, you give a creature minus one, one, one of yours gets plus one, one. It helps you trade a little bit, but not nothing really special. When you get to the second aspect, then things get a little bit more fun. Minus two, two, that's kind of like a noxious fumes. And then a friendly gets plus two, two, that's basically an ambush strike. So it's like you're casting a noxious and ambush in one spell. That's actually a really nice deal because both of those spells cost one mana each, but they're good one mana spells. So if you combine them for two mana, good times. But it's when you get to three aspects and above is where this card starts getting absolutely ridiculous. At three aspects, this card inflicts minus three three, which is enough to kill like 80% of the creatures in the game, maybe more. And then it gives one of your creatures plus 3-3. Three, three. So if you could imagine the situation, you're basically fireballing one of their creatures. And then if you send your buffed up guy to their face, it's as if you fireballed their face as well as their creature for two mana. So that's obviously completely crazy. So now, does that mean this card is OP? The answer is no. It's not, because it's supposed to be this powerful, because it only works if you are committed to that one aspect. There's a few of these cards, and their job is to make a single aspect deck, you know, have something unique. And Consume Spirit is what you get to benefit from by running Mono Corruption, or I guess if you go like one Wisdom and a bunch of Corruption levels. One of the benefits is your consumed spirit becomes kind of unfair, but it should be unfair because you're in, again investing into that aspect. And if you didn't, it, the card would just be whatever. Consume isn't the only card like that. Word of Fire is essentially exactly the same thing, where if you go three aspects, it's basically fireball a creature for just two mana and the draw a card, which is crazy. But if you only do it, let's say for two aspects, it's just kind of all right, and at one aspect, it's just whatever. So, the cards like that, I am completely okay with. Cards that promote single aspect, because if you just run single aspect, your deck will be missing something. Every aspect is missing something, and so they have these cards to let them, you know, stand above the rest. The only real shame is that some of these word cards are just horribly awful. Like this one, for example, the Wisdom card, which, if you look at it, you know, you draw and discard a number of cards equal to your Wisdom levels. So let's say you have five Wisdom levels. You draw five cards, well, six, because this the spell itself draws a card, and you discard five. You, you don't even gain card advantage. So th what's the point? So not only do I think Consume is not OP, I think these other word cards should all be bumped up to be much better than they are, to make mono aspect decks have something unfair because the multi aspect decks are able to fill in their gaps. You know, any deck can add card draw by including wisdom, or any deck can add a little bit of dominion for some hard removal action. But these mono decks are basically restricting themselves, and if they don't have something to compensate, then there would never be any reason to run a mono deck unless you're just going pure aggro, but we're not trying to, you know, encourage that. So Consume Spirit, yes, it's technically overpowered, but not in the scope of the game of Spellweaver. So that's the verdict. Anyways, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, in, the, in the fourth episode, we are going to finish off Corruption with the last card, Tombs of the Dam, before we move on to another aspect. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have any other ideas for corruption, 
uh, post it in the comments and of course post your thoughts agree or disagree and i'll see you guys next time